Suit CRM is a PHP-based customer relationship management system. It was created as an extended version of Sugar CRM, but now includes a number of modules. In this tutorial, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to install Suit CRM using a bash script on Linux Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. But before we begin, let's take a look at an overview of the steps covered in this guide. First, we'll open an SSH connection to the Ubuntu server. Then we'll actually create the sudcrm bash installation script. Third, I'll then show you how to run the script. And finally, I'll then show you how to complete the sudcrm post installation setup. I've already set up the Linux Ubuntu virtual machine on VMware Fusion. So I'm going to log into the administrator account. And then we're going to check for the IP address for the virtual machine. So run the command IP address list. So as you can see, the IP address of the virtual machine is 192.168.88.235. So I'm going to open up my terminal application and then run the command SSH administrator at uh, 192.168.88.235. So once the SSH connection is open, we're then going to go through the process of setting up the uh, script. So I'm going to change to the root user by running com the command sudo su. So I'm just going to type in my password and I should be logged in as root now. So I'm going to execute the command nano sudcrm.sh and in this file, I'm going to paste in the uh, installation script that I've already uh, prepared. So just paste that in and you just need to press Ctrl plus O, press enter and then press Ctrl plus X to exit the file. You can actually access the link to download the script in the video description. Then I'm going to run the command chmod plus x sudcrm.sh and finally I'll just run the command sh sudcrm.sh. So the script is going to ask to enter an administrator email uh, account and it will also ask to set the server name as well as the server alias. So you simply need to type in your domain as you wish and when you press enter you should now see the installation process starting. So it should take about uh, five minutes or less to complete the installation process. So you just have to wait for the script to set up everything for you. And once it's done, you just need to make a few other changes. So I'm just going to copy the uh, URL for the sudcrm system. And then I'm going to edit the php.ini config file. So I'm just going to move into the directory where that file is located and then run the command nano php.ini. So I'm going to make a few changes to this file, particularly I'm going to adjust the upload max file size parameter as well as the post max uh, uh, size parameter. I'll also edit the memory limit for PHP. I'll just give it a bit of some more uh, uh, resources. And then uh, finally, I'll just uh, restart uh, Apache. So just run the command systemctl restart Apache 2. So once all of this is done, you simply need to open up a browser and paste in the URL that you copied earlier. Then you need to paste in the URL uh, of the sudcrm instance and then configure the database. So I'm going to specify the database user. I also specify the database password. You'll I also specify the database, uh, actually the host name, the database name as well as the port. So you can actually copy these details from the script. But I actually recommend that you actually configure something that is a bit more secure. So you just need to adjust the script on the appropriate areas to set uh, much more secure credentials. So I'm going to specify the application admin name as well as the uh, admin user password. Also select populate database with demo data to yes or no depending on your preference. So the installation is now completing and once it's done you should see a login page. So I'm just going to log in using the account that I configured during the uh, installation wizard. And I'm, I've actually successfully logged into the sudcrm dashboard. So this is what it looks like. And let me just have a look at the opportunities page. And this is what it actually looks like. Let me also have a look at the dashboard once more. And then let's navigate to the admin area. So this is where you can configure the various modules for Suit CRM. So that's been it guys. That's a quick look at uh, how you can use a bash script to install the Suit CRM uh, customer relationship management system. 
please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And please also share this video with your peers, colleagues, and friends. I hope this tutorial has been informative, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.